I thought I would do a fall vlog and just do a bunch of like fun fall things. It is currently October 4th and the only reason I know that off of the top of my head is because yesterday my TikTok feed was filled with it's October 3rd, you know, like that sound for Mean Girls. Um, but it is kind of early into fall and I live in Austin, Texas. so. It definitely has gotten a little bit chillier and that is super exciting um, because then I can start wearing my fall items and I actually want to start off this video with a fall haul so let's get into it. The one and only Princess Polly is sponsoring today's vlog. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked out for fall. I feel like I'm going to call it like a pre-fall haul though because I did get some sweaters, but for the most part, I tried to keep it on the lighter side. As much as I wanted to like go crazy and get every sweater I saw in Princess Polly, which there are so many cute ones, I did try to select pieces that weren't gonna like make me sweat too much or ones that I could be super cozy in the house. As always, I have a discount code for you guys. It's gonna be 20% off site-wide and you can use the code Sonali to get that discount. Princess Polly offers shop pay and after pay and they ship from within the United States and you also get express shipping if your order is over 50 US dollars. Princess Polly is one of my go-tos, especially for those times that I have been procrastinating getting an outfit for like a specific event. I can always count on their two-day shipping it gets here so fast, it's kind of crazy. Thought we could start with what is on my body right now. I'm truly obsessed with this shade of green right now. You can probably tell from my Instagram feed. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna do this like green theme and I don't even know if anyone really noticed it, but I kind of am just like really getting back into the aesthetics of Instagram. Like I feel like I was just not really caring what my feed looked like for a while, but I feel like since Reels covers are a thing now, I just want to try a little bit and just get creative. So honestly, this could be a perfect shirt for an Instagram photo, um, but the material is this like crinkle material. Like I like it because you don't really have to worry about steaming it before you go because it's kind of supposed to look like effortless like that. The top I'm wearing right now is actually a part of this really freaking cute like waffle set. I feel like I would call it a waffle texture. Um, but it is super comfortable. It's actually really hard to pick the color I wanted because I had a gray and that was really cute. I also had a black, but I just had to go for the simple white look. I got another green piece and this one's actually a sweat set. I saw like so many cute, just solid color, really, really pretty color sweat sets on Princess Polly, like in their new arrival. So I feel like that's something new they're doing. This was actually the first thing I wore when I got this package in the mail. And also the pants are not like a jogger style, they're a straight leg. Speaking of unique pants, I got these super flared pants and I just put them on with like a pair of Uggs and they're so cute. I'm 5'3", so they were definitely like long on me if I didn't have a platform boot on. And they almost have like a velvet, I don't want to say corduroy, but they look like they're corduroy, but obviously super, super stretchy. In my eyes, I feel like this is like the perfect pre-fall item. When you live somewhere that just does not want to get cold and does not want to give you all the fall vibes, you got to create them on your own. So this is kind of like a sheer cardigan and I didn't know how I was going to feel about this, but I put it on with just like this waffle crop top and it was actually really cute. Like it just added like a little something on top of just like a basic you know, crop top and jeans. Um, so I really liked how it looked and I'm definitely gonna like accessorize with some gold jewelry as well. If you guys are looking for comfy and oversized crew neck sweatshirts, definitely recommend getting them from Princess Polly. I got this one that says nude. Then in the front it says send nudes. I've had two so far and they hold up really nice. I just know I'm gonna get so much use out of this sweater. I love these collars that are becoming really popular. Um, I've seen so many of those like zip jackets and I've had one in the past 
and literally last fall I wore it to death. Um, this was in the size large XL. I'm also feeling my heart calling towards neutrals again. This summer I obviously had so much fun with playing around with color and greens and all of that and like obviously I feel like every season it's like spring is color, summer's color, fall and winter are neutrals. I feel like that's just what it is in my head. Um, so I'm just excited to get back to where my heart belongs. I selected this long sleeve like mesh. I don't even know if you would call this mesh, but it, as you can see, there's a lot of holes in it. One of my style icons, Rachel Radke, has been wearing just a lot of like holy mesh thing. And I heard that mesh is definitely on trend, so I feel like this could definitely pass for it. Um, I paired it with, again, <laughs> this white crop top. Um, honestly, this thing is so versatile, but anyways, I just paired it with that and I thought it was really cute if you were doing just like maybe even like a fall beach vacation or again, maybe just living somewhere that does not want to get to fall temperatures. I guess you can't really see this when I'm holding it up, but I'm trying it on here. Um, this is a tube top with some really cool cutouts. I just paired it with some jean shorts for now, but the other day I was actually wearing some more baggier jeans and I loved the look. Kind of gave like Hailey Bieber, like super casual, but like you still look cute vibes. I loved this green dress. It was very, very flattering and I can totally see myself wearing this with like tall white boots. Next up we have this beautiful satin champagne colored dress. Not sure if you guys can tell, but there is like a pattern on it. I think it's a dragon. Last but not least, we have this oversized leather jacket. It is this beautiful brown color, and I feel like last winter slash fall, brown was such a big trend, and I definitely don't think it's going anywhere, so I wanted to pick this up. I did get an XL, and I do regret that because I think the fit on its own is oversized, so I would definitely get just your normal size in this jacket. That wraps up this pre-fall haul. I will have all the links in the description box below. Don't forget to use my discount code. It is Sonali, and that will get you 20% off site-wide. All right, let's get back to the vlog. So since this is a fall vlog, I thought we could do some fun fall activities. Unfortunately, I feel like I want to wait a little bit longer to go to like a pumpkin patch and I already bought my haunted house tickets But I'm gonna wait till Ryan comes back here, which will be closer to Halloween So those two I'm definitely gonna check off my fall bucket list But today I thought we could go to the best place on earth Well, actually we're gonna go to another really great place tomorrow But today we're gonna rage in Target and then tomorrow we're gonna check out Trader Joe's because I've been seeing so many of their like fall snacks and like those little mini cones oh my god they're so good and I've never tried the pumpkin flavor I was gonna go today but I actually have a shoot tomorrow right next to it so it's like I'll just save it for then because then it just like makes makes life more efficient I do have to get a couple groceries here so we're gonna do that but I also definitely want to look around at the fall decor I feel like when it comes to decorating for the holidays in my apartment I'm not one to you know do it and go all out because I just feel like it looks a little bit cluttered and also I just don't have the storage for all of that. Like I've never, well me and Ryan have never had our own Christmas tree which honestly breaks my heart. Dating 10 years and we've never had our own Christmas tree but I know one day when we buy a house it's gonna be so worth it because obviously we'll have the storage then. Um, but I just have like little trinkets that I put out during like Christmas, but I never really decorate for the fall. And I, I just thought maybe we could get like a little mini pumpkin. I don't know, just like something. I did already pick up some Target fall candles and one of them is like salted honey. I believe that's the flavor. Oh my God, it's so good. But I do want to see if there are any other scents um, because I'm actually at a different Target. I barely know my way around still in Austin and like I always use my GPS which is so annoying and weird I know but I also just like seeing the ETA so I always use my GPS but I never know like which target is which so I ended up at not the best target but you know it's it's gonna be okay I think this is just a regular target so not a super target which I don't even know what the big difference is so I'm hoping they still have like home stuff um, and then I also want to like bake something or make something folly for dinner tonight. Okay, this is one of my favorite spots of Target. There's like not that much fall stuff, but I'm seeing like some cute things. I found some candles. <laughs> this one is apple orchard. And this is like the same kind of um, jar as the other one that I really like. I like something like this, like it's neutral, doesn't look super cluttered. This one's $5 and then 
This one is 10. That's not bad. I think I might do that. These two look so good. I think I'm leaning more towards this. I immediately got home and changed into my comfy set from Princess Polly. It was so cute. It's like the waffle one that I showed earlier. Um, and I think I'm going to be home for the rest of the evening. I have some major cleaning to do. I did some of it this morning, just like decluttered the kitchen counter. I just feel like sometimes when I have hectic days like yesterday, oh my God, like I just don't put things back where they need to be. And it's so annoying on me. And I really need to get better about that. But I still have some cleaning to do. I wanna do the dishes and then I'm going to bake some stuff. So I always like save these recipes on TikTok. So I saw these mini apple pie things. <laughs> They're like in puff pastries and they look really easy. And then also these pumpkin cinnamon sugar donuts that look also super easy. I honestly don't even know if I have like a donut mold or like tray or whatever. Um, so I should probably try to look for that. Let's do a little grocery haul, starting off with these. It is brown butter with pretzels and potato chips, which is like the best combination, sweet and salty. I have some friends coming over later today, so I'm probably gonna put this out in a bowl. I literally just wanted to try it. I don't think I like really want the whole thing. I mean, if it's good, like I'll get it again. All right, so let's do a little haul. Everything I got from Target, starting off with this brown butter popcorn, um, pretzels and potato chips. Amazing combo, sweet and salty, got it all. And I have some friends coming over tonight, so I'm probably just gonna put that out. I just really wanted to try it, so a lot of these snacky foods are um, for me to share. This one, though, it's all for me. I wouldn't say they're exactly like Hot Cheetos, but they're definitely a healthier option. Um, so those are super, super good. I think I'm going to make some chili. So I got some beans, turkey chili, um, and then I have this soup. I don't know. I'm like kind of into the soups right now. This sounds really good. I'm kind of like craving this right now. I got a can of pumpkin. I got Sophie some more food because I didn't know if she was going to run out sooner or later. This is probably one of my all-time favorite breads. This is the Good Seed Bread by Dave's Killer Bread. Sour cream for the chili. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, and some raspberries. I haven't had those in a while, so I was like, those look good. Um, the chili called for tomatoes. I have no idea what a cocktail tomato is, but I didn't really have much to choose from. I got some gala apples for the apple pies. So I did go ahead and buy the two neutral pumpkins. I think I'm gonna put them on my TV stand. Every time I go to the grocery store, I stock up on some frozen foods because they're the best to like heat up and eat after going out. And also they're just easy meals if I don't wanna cook anything. Um, so this is gonna be for probably, oh, I did not realize these are keto friendly. That is cool. Um, I've actually tried, I think it's like the blueberry muffin and it is so good. So I wanted to try other flavors. I think there's like a chocolate chip one. These are only 90 calories and they are small, but it's great for when you like need something really quick to like satisfy you. Or if you're like headed out the door and you just like need a quick breakfast. My bad. Okay, so I love getting frozen meals like I mentioned. This is one of my favorite things to get. It is the truffle Parmesan mac and cheese. And I got this because this looked really good. It just reminded me of Thanksgiving. Some butternut squash for the chili. Um, and that's perfect. So I don't even have to like worry about cutting it up myself. More beans for the chili. Okay, I saw these on TikTok and I just had to try it out for myself. They are birthday cake bowls. Should we, no, I haven't really eaten much, so I'm not gonna eat those right away, but I'll save them for like my snack. Okay, this is another soup that just like looked really good to me. Last but not least, we have some turkey for the chili. So that's my little Target haul. I still do wanna go to Trader Joe's tomorrow um, and just like check out their snacks, even though I kinda stocked up today. Um, but, I don't know about the freezer section because my freezer is literally smaller than a locker it seems and I feel like I always want to stock up on this like frozen stuff especially when I go to Trader Joe's and since I just bought so much frozen meals I don't know if I'll have the space but I'm still going to check it out because I'm going to be in the area tomorrow um, and then we'll see what we can find. This podcast I'll episode could not come at a better time. Maybe. Okay I feel so much better because I got my place clean and now it is time to do some baking. So like I said, I'm gonna bake those 
um, apple pie, mini apple pies, and then I'm also gonna do some cinnamon sugar pumpkin donuts. Um, so I gotta get cracking because it's 424 and I have some friends coming over at 630, um, which I feel like that's gonna be enough time, but still got some work to do too. First, we're gonna start off with the dry ingredients. So one cup of flour, actually one cup and one fourth cup of flour. I also preheated my oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna do the donuts first. It's telling me to put one tablespoon of baking powder, which I feel like is very excessive, but I read it like a bunch of times and it definitely says one tablespoon, so. And then two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I'm just gonna eye that. I almost forgot the salt, so I'm just gonna put this in. I feel like adding pink Himalayan salt is a little weird. We're gonna mix that all together. Now we're gonna work with our wet ingredients, pumpkin puree, and that was half a cup. We also have half a cup of brown sugar, one third cup of milk, some softened butter. Now we mix. I don't have a donut pan. I think this is more like a mini bunt pan. So let's just scoop this batter and see how it turns out. And I also decided to put in a little bit of sour cream because you know, the sour cream donuts, like they're just so good. So I just thought maybe it'll be even better if I did that. Okay, this ice cream scoop maybe was not the move. making the mini apple pies. Oops, so we're just gonna put these cut apples into a pan with like a knob of melted butter. Which one are you gonna eat? Okay, I'm gonna try the pumpkin donut first. I feel like okay. a lot of women are nervous for tonight. There's only a few solid, like, solid mm. colors, but Are you lying? Else. No, it's actually really good. Hell I, yeah. Moist. Yay! Oh yeah. Yay. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's good hot, be careful. And welcome to the first row ceremony of the summer here in Paris. Now, each Ooh. of these <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Yay. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I'm here at the Sea Home area. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm so excited. I literally haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long and I'm like really, really hoping that there's a lot of good fall snacks and just fall meals to check out. But I don't, I wanted to like look up when they got their shipment. I probably should have done this before, but it just made sense to come today. So let's head in and see what we can find.
We're back home from Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you guys exactly what I got. I did get like a bunch of other groceries and honestly, I got so much. I forgot how affordable Trader Joe's is compared to like Central Market or I guess I usually shop at HEB but like honestly that still adds up and I feel like that's getting so expensive so I was really shocked at the prices um so I'll definitely be shopping there a lot more but um I also found a lot of Indian food there which I'm very excited about um my mom used to make me this and I literally just ate doll the other day from like a packet like this and it was so good so very excited about that got some butter chicken and I think I tried these last year. They are pumpkin samosas. Like, how good does that sound? I also got these samosas. Every time I go to the Indian store, which is not very often, I do want to go more. I just feel like it's very nostalgic walking in there because I see all the foods I used to eat growing up and obviously I'm not able to cook that well, so I just um, go to the frozen aisle. But every time I want samosas at the Indian store, it's always like potatoes and veggies, so I'm very surprised there's chicken in this. And then I did end up getting these um, pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. My favorite dessert in Austin is the sticky toffee pudding cake from the peacock it is so good and so i was like i think i have to try it out i've also heard people talk a lot about this butternut squash mac and cheese so i wanted to see what that hype was about i've seen tiktoks on this boba kits and everyone has said it was really really good and then every time i go to trader joe's no doubt this is like one of my favorite desserts from oh, trader joe's um and then i got some heirloom tomatoes because i was like thinking of making like this avocado toast heirloom tomatoes i remember this like one breakfast fixation phase that i had i always put i can't remember what kind of cheese it was it was like more of like a ricotta or something like that with heirloom tomatoes on my toast and it was so good then i saw these and i haven't had beets in a while so i kind of wanted to try that out it's ready to eat hot or cold so it's like hell yeah and then gotta get these almonds also. I feel like this is always a must. The truffle Marcona almonds. I got some grapefruit. This just like looked really refreshing. And yeah, I haven't eaten today, so maybe it wasn't a good idea to like go right in the morning when I'm like kind of, you know, hungry. One of the best things that you can ever get at Trader Joe's is the prosciutto. It is so good and so affordable compared to like even just H-E-B or Publix or Kroger or anywhere like that. You get like kind of a lot in this and it's like not that extensive. I got some Persian cucumbers. I love anything with eggplant and I saw this eggplant garlic spread with sweet red pepper. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make with it. Maybe just have it with some kind of like meat and like a rice bowl because that sounds so good. I've also seen this everywhere and every time I go into Trader Joe's, and I've never gotten it, so got this. Then some polenta, because it was pretty cheap, and I really, really like the texture of polenta. If you guys have never had it, it's more like a grits kind of thing, but for dinner. And then lastly, I got a big old chunk of salmon, and I'm probably gonna cut it up and freeze it. So that was my Trader Joe's haul. I'll keep you guys updated on my other vlogs and my stories. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. The last fall thing we're gonna do is get my hair done. It just means it will be a little bit darker on the end. So we're gonna do that. And I am so excited for my hair to finally be washed because I can't remember when I washed it, but I wanted to wash it yesterday, but then I was like, I'll just wait. Like it's literally one more day and then I don't have to put in the effort of washing my hair. So I'm finally getting it washed. And as you can see, it's kind of greasy. So let's head to the salon. It is the next day, but here is the final hair. Back to black. Love it. The other day I asked you guys on my Instagram, what are some like fall things that you have an unpopular opinion on? And I thought it would be fun to read some of these out because I just feel like, you know, some of them I definitely relate to, some of them I don't. First one is candy corn with peanuts, game changer. Oh. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I was not expecting that. I feel like liking candy corn is unpopular. 
I like to eat like two and then I'm like, this is so sweet. So I'm like, good. <laughs> um, Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes taste like candles. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Um, this girl says fall winter fashion is better than summer fashion. I would have to agree with that just because I feel like you can accessorize more. You have like more layers to like work with. The one thing about like fall and winter fashion is if you take trips and you have to pack for that, that is annoying because obviously all of that takes up so much more space rather than just bringing like summery dresses that are super lightweight. This girl said pumpkin patches. She doesn't love them. I feel like... I, I get it because I'm just like they're always overpriced and then you just like go and walk around most of the time I go at the wrong time like literally two days before Halloween and they're like all the ugliest pumpkins <laughs> um, someone said they don't like Halloween and honestly guys I'm stressing all my friends they're like you guys need to like come up with your Halloween costumes because we're gonna have like one night where we go out I think and then the other night a house party and everyone's stressing me out and I should be stressed out because I feel like I should think about it I need to order stuff but I feel like it's just so much hype honestly I feel that way about a lot of holidays um but like I just don't want to be like super basic I feel like I always end up being super basic but um pumpkin flavored anything apple cider items cinnamon they don't like that Okay, I actually really like apple cider. I feel like it is a very cozy drink. Just heat it up for like 30 seconds. I love, love, love. Okay, a lot of people are saying pumpkin spice is disgusting. That's funny. Okay, one person said candy corn is actually good. Again, I can handle like two little things of it. And then I'm like, okay, this is just like way too sweet. Someone said they hate pumpkin pie. One thing about me, oh my God, I was like obsessed with pumpkin pie growing up that one year we didn't have pumpkin pie because like, I feel like everyone brings something different every year. And the one girl that was bringing pies didn't bring pumpkin pie. And I was so distraught over it. I was like, there's no way, there's no way it's a Thanksgiving without damn pumpkin pie. And like now that I've actually worked in a pie shop in high school, I'm realizing that sweet potato pie is way better. Oh my God, it's so good. But it's still like a tradition. You have to have pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving, even if it's like not that great. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I guess all the rest just say they're not a pumpkin spice fan, which is hilarious. I feel like that's the biggest thing that brands kind of like bring forward for fall it's like just pumpkin spice flavored things so very interesting maybe you know if you're a brand and you make flavored stuff listen up people don't like that shit <laughs> i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this old with like a bunch of fall snacks a lot of snacks i feel like i baked i went to target and trader joe's like am i okay i am okay and i'm not gonna eat it all in one sitting don't worry i still have barely even like went through the Trader Joe's stuff. Well, it's only been a day, so I guess that makes sense. But anyways, if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It is so underscore gnarly without the G, and I will see y'all in my next video.